Welcome to Heat Stress in Construction Environments, an interactive training program. Course is available with closed captioning. Would you like to enable closed captioning? Upon completing this course, you should understand what causes heat stress and other heat-related illnesses, know what can be done to reduce the chances of developing a heat-related illness, and understand how to treat heat-related illnesses. Press the forward hand to begin the introduction to heat stress. The body is a powerful machine, capable of performing massive amounts of work. And like any machine, when it's pushed hard, your body can produce a lot of heat. Whether you're outside under a hot sun or bundled up against the cold, you need to be careful when your body heats up. As it gets hot, your body has to work hard to prevent itself from overheating. Of course, the hotter the area where you're working, the harder it is to cool off. If your body gets too hot, it can suffer heat stress and other heat-related illnesses such as heat cramps, heat exhaustion, or even heat stroke. These conditions occur when high body temperatures break down your body's ability to function normally. Click on the topic you want to review. If you do not want to review a topic, press the forward hand to continue. Press the forward hand to begin heat stress and the body's cooling system. Upon completing this topic you should understand how your body's cooling system works, recognize the importance of staying hydrated, and know why some of the food and beverages you consume may make it more difficult for your body to cool itself. To fight off heat stress, your body tries to keep your temperature at a cool 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's how it works. When it heats up, the first thing your body does is to send more blood toward the skin surface. This helps the blood to release heat and cool you off. Think of it this way. For cooling purposes, your blood works just like the radiator fluid in your car. It comes out of the engine hot, gets cooled, and then recirculates to cool the engine down some more. If the increased blood flow doesn't cool you down, then your sweat glands go to work, releasing heat in the form of warm water. As the sweat evaporates from your skin, that removes heat as well, lowering your body temperature and making you more comfortable. The problem is that maintaining your temperature by sweating depletes the body's valuable supply of fluids and minerals. This can be dangerous. Your body will begin to malfunction if it can't replace these materials. So it's important to maintain proper fluid levels throughout the day because when you sweat a lot, your body can lose up to one quart of water an hour. In high heat areas, your natural thirst alone won't be enough to protect you from dehydration. So maintaining the proper fluid levels requires a conscious effort. In fact, when you are sweating, you should replace the fluid you lose with five to seven ounces of liquid every 15 or 20 minutes. But just replacing fluids isn't enough. It's also important to replace the minerals you lose when you sweat. This is where electrolyte drinks come in. They're scientifically designed to replace both the fluids and vital minerals that your body needs to keep going. They also give your muscles an energy boost since they contain easily digestible sugars. But you should avoid alcoholic beverages during the workday and after heavy exertion. While it is a fluid, alcohol accelerates water loss, which just compounds the problem. Some medicines can also accelerate fluid loss or can have other adverse effects when you're heated up. If you're taking any medication, it's a good idea to ask your doctor whether working in high heat areas could be detrimental. It's also important to eat intelligently when you're in a high heat environment. Hot, heavy meals add heat to your body and divert blood to your digestive system that would otherwise be helping you to cool off. So you should make sure to eat light, cool meals when you're working up a sweat.
if the increased blood flow doesn't cool you down, then your sweat glands go to work, releasing heat in the form of warm water. Click on the topic you want to review. If you do not want to review a topic, press the forward hand to continue. You will now be given a brief test to see what you have learned. This test consists of five questions. If you answer four or more of the questions correctly, you will advance to the next topic. If you do not, you will automatically review the current topic. Please press the forward hand to take the topic test. 